here is Heidi. This is Heidi's new hair. There's a lot of uh, speculation about whether or how much Facetune was used here in this photo. Um, I don't think it looks that bad. It looks pretty good. Her hair looks, you know, dirty blonde, I think. But apparently it changes her entire wardrobe. She needs to buy new clothes now because her blonde hair had a certain wardrobe and now she's got to get a new wardrobe. Um, and in case you were wondering, that wardrobe is basically a wedding dress over and over and over again. Um, we don't have to go through all of it, but she, her and Dave love to joke that they're getting married. <laughs> and if Dave wanted any privacy in his house... Um, I have to choose from right here. He does not have it. Dave and I are... And this is in Rachel and Dave's old house. I mean, Dave still lives there, but this is where they... You know, we used to record content and do vlogs from, and this is the HQ of the Hollis brand uh, outside of the office. This was like the home life, and now here we are with Heidi uh, taking it over. Just This will be quick. Dave and I are doing date night. He's showering up. You can't see anything. <laughs> here's a, here's a pan, quick pan of the shower <laughs> that my boyfriend... Um, who I'm also just best friends with. Uh, We're best friends. Here's, here's the shower scene. Um. Uh, but in getting ready to go out with brown hair, I mean, this isn't technically brown, this is like blonde, but with darker hair, things look different. So I'm super indecisive right now, and I need your help picking an outfit. Or should I let Dave pick? Here we go. I'm going to show you a feel. These are what I have to <sighs> This is so dumb. <laughs> Shoes from right here. I brought all my favorites. What and Dave's like in the shower, like what time do we have to leave? And then... Time do I have to go? Yeah. Um, tomorrow, I don't haven't booked my flight yet. <laughs> Dave's in the shower talking to me. This is how we do it. And this is again Rachel's house, or former house. So apparently she's got her whole wardrobe here. Sort of interesting. Interesting little addition. I don't know, guys. Which one's going to look good with blonde hair? All right. Outfit one is actually on me. I'll show you in the mirror. How about you just wear the one you're wearing? That's probably the easiest solution. Love the hair, but feel like I might need to do some closet figuring. This is not my strength. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, does this work with the new hair? I have never considered want for one second that a hair color would have to change my wardrobe, but okay. All right, before I show you these in the mirror, this is actually gonna be option one. Um, and if you wanna see Dave in his underwear once again, here we go. Um, I'm gonna have you vote. We're gonna do three options, A, B, or C. The vote that is the highest within the next hour, because that's when we're leaving, is what I'm gonna wear, so you gotta hurry up and vote. Just cash your vote, because <laughs> I don't know what Wear. and Dave says I look beautiful in all of them true true but that doesn't help me at all I'm glad the camera's facing this way that's all I'm gonna say Heidi also once in a live stream that Dave was doing to promote his book Built Through Courage with Mel Robbins came out completely topless in the background of a mirror and apparently <laughs> It was, you know, live for quite a while, like a couple hours, okay? Or she's like her, you know, and you, can, you can't you can see it clearly. She's not like in front of the camera topless, but you, you can look in the video and see that she's naked and you can't see her bottom, but you can only see the top up. And they kept it up for a few hours and then they took it down and then they edited out the, the part where she was topless. They like zoomed in on Dave and then post reposted it, the interview, as if it was like, you know, so important that this interview about Dave's, you know, beliefs in himself were, was that important that they needed to like retain the content of the topless Heidi snafu. <laughs> it's like, how about you stop? Let's take a, a, a really quick rule. No recording in the bathroom. That's pretty simple. But no, we're not. We're probably not going to get that. Uh, no recording of your children. Step two. <laughs> Let's get through step one. Step two. That'd be my rules for life. Um, <laughs> and that, you know how they say like late, like late stage capitalism, all these problems come up. The billionaires are up here. Everyone else is down here. And there's like no way you could possibly undo it. It's like the, they, we talk about it a lot. We as in the world at large talks about late stage capitalism a lot now. This is like late stage influencing. 
when you're going out with your boyfriend who is a former self-help guru and you are a current fitness self-help guru and you're ha- asking your audience to vote on your date night outfits, which is one of the, the tenets of Dave's former guru advice where he used to host a podcast with his ex-wife and their big thing was going on date nights to retain your relationship. Like there's so much history and this one Instagram story it's funny if you know it's almost like the office like if you know how convoluted and all the characters work together you understand it very well okay sorry coming out with option two and it's not fair oh wait he's in his underwear is that bad okay all right the next dress doesn't end yet are you ready for the okay here's here's where we talk we're gonna talk about their wedding again a wedding that may or may not have happened already. I don't know. There's so much speculation as if they're already married or not, but I think not. But here we go. If we wanted to talk about speculation of the wedding, once again, you know, if the engagement balloons weren't enough speculation, they hate when people ask this question, why aren't you engaged? Yet every other post about it is, you know, wink, winking towards it. For the next option, this I think this might, this might be my favorite. That I'm going to ask you to go to Target with <laughs> Here we go. Say you'll me. Okay, it says option C. It says my one condition is, oh, that's the song. <laughs> Dave, what do you think? Okay, this is a dress that she's shown her wearing like 25 times. And she's like, guys, this looks like I'm getting married, right? This looks like a wedding dress, right? This looks like I could be married in this dress. Like this has been on her stories since like spring. <laughs> What? What's so funny? <laughs> it's a beautiful night. These lyrics should be, hey baby, I think I need to tie my shoe, says Dave Hollis. It's just so weird that they're taking these pictures where Rachel and Dave used to take pictures together. It's so weird. It's only two years ago. All right, the verdict that. is in, and the verdict is that it doesn't matter what anyone voted on those. <laughs> if you voted, you voted, and I appreciate it, but it really matters. This guy won't let me leave the house unless I have this white dress on. I love this dress. <laughs> They're going to think we're, getting, we're going to Target together. Let's get that uh, Target dog <laughs> in our sights. Okay, well, cool. Um... And then it turns into an ad for Rent the Runway. So now they're on their way to their date. Now they got to sell the product, AKA they got to sell that, you know, their date nights are, are interesting to you too. 